What's up you guys? Today I'm doing the triple X ponytail. Thank you so much, Alex, for that name suggestion. It's gonna be done on my gorgeous model, Brie. So let's get started. All right, so Brie has this gorgeous hair, but she actually has um, some hair extensions and her hair is fairly porous from being bleached, which is totally fine because we're gonna actually hydrate it with some smoothing cream by air. So this guy is gonna add a lot of moisture, but also um, give a lot of shine to the hair and help smooth the cuticle down. This is actually infused with amethyst, so we're just gonna go ahead and really get it in there, focusing on kind of some of those thirsty little ends here. Before we get started, kind of just really work that in. Focusing kind of more so mid-shaft down. All right, for this, what we're gonna go ahead and do is take the front sections and clip those away for later, because that's where we're gonna actually create our triple X. So I'm just, since she has extensions, I wanna be careful. So it's really hard to take a comb in there and create a perfect section. So if your client doesn't have extensions, definitely use a comb, but in this case, I'm just gonna use my finger. So we're just gonna go kind of behind the ear here and see one of those wefts. So kind of directly, almost like if you can imagine a headband right here, we're gonna take those sections away. Very slight angle, diagonal back. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this guy for later. We're gonna do the same thing with the opposite side here. So just using my finger here right behind the ear. Perfect, so we're gonna clip that away. Now with working with the back, we definitely want to create a little bit of volume in there. So the crown area is her natural hair and then just right below is some of her hair wefts. So I don't wanna tease the hair wefts, but we can tease the hair on top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comb this hair going back and grab a little bit more hair on this side. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my tail comb and create almost zigzag sections at the crown and pick that hair up. Now you can see that the texture is quite different at the roots from the ends, just from the um, hair color. So I wanna add a little bit more coarseness to the hair and that's gonna really allow hold. So we're gonna go ahead and use some texture spray by Air and pick up this section. It's almost like a very strong dry shampoo that gives a little bit more grit. Spray it in there, really good. We're gonna take the tail comb and then just really add that teasing in there. That product's gonna really allow that teasing to have a very long lasting hold to it. We're just gonna flip that over there. Again, tail comb, zigzag sections. Why I like to take zigzag sections is because it almost kind of interlocks the sections together and creates almost a like more seamless feel to it. So again, a little spray, actually have you hold on to that and really compact that teasing in there. And we're getting a little bit more aggressive than I normally would because we're gonna comb a lot of that out when we pull it back. So again, Little zigzag, doesn't have to be perfect for this. This is a really great technique for our fine haired clients because you can't see that definite line or section. Okay. So when I'm teasing too, I wanna go ahead and say, that it's almost, you wanna imagine like a rectangle section, so a mohawk section. You don't really wanna to get too much through in the sides because you don't want it to look too rounded. I'm just gonna lightly brush it back. Just those top layers. So you can see all that volume in there. Okay. So now, we're gonna gather all the hair and we're gonna create a low pony. Before I do, I'm gonna add some flexible hold air spray in there by air. 
spray it, kind of smooth it down. Making sure we get all the little wispies underneath in there and then secure it with a hair elastic. Now, before we do our crisscross or our triple X um, part of this, go ahead and hairspray it a little bit more, smooth it down, hold on to the elastic, and then again, pinch and pull those sections. You guys know that this is one of my favorite techniques. At this point, we're gonna release our clips. And what we're gonna do is create three sections on each side, but we're only going to be um, starting with the bottom section and creating that first X. So again, using our finger. So if you look at the section, you wanna make sure that all three sections are the same in density. So keep in mind when you're creating your sections here. So this is gonna be our first X here. We have a section to the right, section to the left. Before I crisscross them, I'm gonna use a little bit of styling paste from Air Professional. It is infused with Moonstone and Blue Agave, which is really fun. So we're gonna go ahead and just put that throughout the hair here. And that's just gonna help polish up our section. So put it throughout the hair, take our comb through it on both sides. creating our first X. We're literally just gonna create an X by crisscrossing it, okay? Then we're gonna take it underneath and crisscross it again, okay? The first one, we're gonna actually do that a couple times and create a knot on top just to create a little bit more of an embellishment effect. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the styling paste. This stuff is great too if you um, just wanna keep it handy on your palm. So I'll put it kind of on the top of my hand here and then just get some as needed. But see how it's really helping define that section a little bit? That's what we're looking to do because we want this to be kind of messy but polished at the same time. So again, just put a little bit over here. All right. Now we're gonna cross it underneath, if you guys can see. And then on top, another little knot. Then we're gonna go underneath. It's taking our hair elastic and then just securing it underneath. Now we're gonna go ahead and move to X number two. So same thing, we wanna make sure that the density is the same in this section. So split that on our right. That's pretty good. Maybe add a little bit more hair to that guy. Same thing on the opposite side. Then I like to kind of feel it, make sure it feels the same turn her so you guys can see. So we have one section on each side left. Again, we have our little styling paste. Smooth the cuticle down. Okay, I'm gonna comb that section out. Okay, we're gonna create our second X here, crossing it over. Again, going underneath, doing another cross under here. You guys can see that. Adding a little bit more styling paste to these ends. Perfect. So for this, I'm gonna do another little knot and a knot underneath, and then we're gonna go ahead and secure that guy with the hair elastic. Okay, 
dropping out our last section here. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of our paste. And the paste actually allows the section to kind of stay together too, which is great. Get it ready on my palms. Just gonna comb the sections out a little bit before crossing them over and creating our last X. I'm gonna add just a little bit more styling paste to this side. So you can see how that's kind of smoothed down and then it gets a little bit rougher right here. Just gonna help polish that out. Leaving some hairs out. Okay. Some of the hair around the face is gonna kind of fold out, which is fine. We'll curl those. Creating our last X here. And some of these guys out. And this section is so short that we're just going to simply go right into hair elasticing it. Put that section up there so you guys can see it. So I'm literally just taking them together here and then just putting them into place with a hair elastic. What's great about this technique too, you can see how it kind of extends it from the nape of the neck, so it makes the ponytail look a lot fuller. So now we're gonna add a few simple curls and finish it off with some hairspray and some spray shine. So I'm gonna go through and kind of pull some of these little hairs that are probably gonna fall out anyway. Pull those out, move some hair around. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the curling iron, add a little bit of bend at the mid shaft and pull it down. Because we don't want too much curl, but we want it to be a little bit more polished than again, boho. It's gonna be soft and romantic, but it doesn't need to be um, too messy. Kind of pull that down. Okay, for this hair in the pony, her hair is already curled, but just want to polish up some of this top section. So again, clamping, easing the hair through the hair tongue. As the ends get through there, then I know it's time to let go. So now I'm gonna use some spray shine to help any of these little flyaways. This is by Air, it's very lightweight. I designed it for that purpose, for finishing. So just kind of smooth those cuticle down. Finishing it off with some flexible hold hairspray that has a little bit of shine to it as well. So again, just kind of spraying all over. What's great about this hairspray, it's very, very moldable and workable. So the more you apply it, the harder the hairspray actually gets, which is really great. So it is flexible, but the more and more you use it, it actually will harden. So kind of fun. So spraying it, spreading the hair out, kind of scrunching at it so it adds a little bit more fullness. And that is about it. That is the Triple X Pony. What's great about that is that you can see kind of all that definition, but it's not like in your face definition. And that actually pulling it under actually helps the ponytail extend away from the nape of the neck. Really super easy and gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon.